Hey everybody, Psycho here again. Now today is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually working on my computer today. Um, I started getting an issue where my computer would just shut off whenever I play games. Uh, I never ever did this whenever I played like Assassin's Creed or whatever, it was fine. Um, I just finished up Red Dead Redemption 2 and that's where it started doing it. It would play for, you know, 10 to 20 minutes and then it would just shut off. Uh, it could be either blue screen or it would just go all black. So, I wasn't really sure what the issue was. I did, you know, update the drivers and all that stuff. It still did it. So, I assumed that it was probably heat related. So, I took the side panel off of my computer and it stopped doing it. So, I took everything apart. I went outside and blew all the dust out. Still had that same problem. So, I wasn't sure quite what the issue was. So I had to get a uh, stress tester, and I got Furmark or whatever. It's good uh, to stress things out, and you can do like a CPU by itself and the graphics card by itself. So I had a pretty good idea it was the graphics card, because uh, it wouldn't shut off whenever I rendered a video for YouTube. So I didn't think it was the CPU. So I'm just going to show you what it does, and then we'll get into disassembling and whatnot. Alright, so I got Furmark opened up, so this, like I say, is a stress tester, you can do your CPU, or your presets for your graphics card, GPU, whatever. Um, this just going to use a preset, I'm going to use the 720, that way it heats up slower, but it still, it shuts off pretty quickly. So we'll go, go. it's a disclaimer, use it at your own risk. So it jumps up, we're at 77, 78, 80 and then it shuts off and this is what it's been doing now for quite a while only but only if I leave the cover on for gaming it does that so the idea that I have is that the thermal paste is no longer good so I'm gonna be taking stuff out and we'll apply new thermal paste and see what happens alright so I unhooked the power uh, turned the power off on the power supply itself so let's just get these screws out. Uh oh. Alright, we'll find that. There we go. So we got the card out. So this is an R9390X by uh, MSI and AMD and whatnot. This has actually, for the most part, been a great card for me. Uh, I definitely need to upgrade in the near future. There is some better stuff out there. But it works pretty good other than now it's starting to overheat. So the first thing i got to do is get this back plate off. And then we take off these four here. Actually, we might not need to take the back plate off. I think we can be fine just by taking these off. Well, I guess we'll find out. And of course they got a little sticker over that one, so that way you don't uh, you void the warranty before uh, taking it off there, but we don't have any warranty left on this, so. Alright, so that should separate as far as I know. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's definitely need to take the heat plate off as well. Alright, that's what I thought. I'm going to take this off too. There, so that's the last screw. Get this back plate off. So, still a pretty cool little back plate. Got the little dragon on it there. What not. So now this should come apart, as far as I know. Okay, that okay, definitely snapped apart there. The only thing I know 
Next, I need to hook, unhook the fans. Okay, so let's turn it this way. I just want to be careful because I don't want to break it for obvious reasons. Okay, so that's let go. Okay, that there. All right. So those. How do they? Okay. Simple enough. So here we go. So there's a little bit of dust here. Nothing crazy. Hmm. Yeah, the thermal paste could be could be definitely changed out there. So let's do that. All right, so I just want to give you guys a closer look at everything. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's definitely spots that don't have no paste on it at all, which is not going to do us any favors. And you can see like the majority of it has been pushed out to the side, so we're going to clean this all up. I got some Q-tips, some paper towel. I want to keep myself grounded and we'll clean this up and reapply. Alright, let's do this off. Alright, so as for thermal paste, we're going to be using this Cooler Master stuff. This is stuff that I've used for my CPU. I've used it for a few different things. So hopefully it will work good for us here. Alright, so I got that all spread around, so it should be as simple now as just putting it all back together. There, so we have it reassembled. So the only thing left to do now is to reinstall and see how badly we screwed up. All right, now the real moment of truth. It's nice to see that it boots up and it works at least, but will it shut off if we stress it out again? I see right now at idle it's running 44 degrees. I'm not too sure what it was before. So uh, fingers crossed, guys. All right, so we're jumping up 63, 66, I forget where we shot off at like 85, wasn't it? It's definitely lasting longer. We would have already crashed beforehand, but it needs to be stable. Eighty two, eighty one. That's our score, 8,122 points. Max temp was 83. We had a maximum of 140 frames a second, average 135. So just like that, 
everything was working again in the computer. Uh, the graphics card is fine now. It doesn't overheat up in the 90s or whatever when it shuts off. That's such a relief. <laughs> and it's actually pretty simple. Anybody can do that as long as you've got like a small Phillips head screwdriver and a little bit of thermal paste. Anybody could do that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you do enjoy computer stuff, you're in luck. I have a whole lot more coming up. And this is all going to be done in the next few days, so you're going to get more. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for viewing.